You know, as John Amos and actor Louis Gossett Jr. reflect on the miniseries known as Roots, I'm sure when they're doing their reminiscing, they conveniently fail to mention the fact that Alex Haley, the uh, author of Roots, stole the story from, get this, a white man by the name of Harold Corlander, who wrote the book The African, which he published in 1967. And of course, as crooks do, and as mainstream media agendas do, they stole this work and refused to give the creator his just due. Instead, they tried to push this um, obvious agenda play as, you know, this magnificent black auteur who based this story on his real-life family history when, you know, when you come to find out, and you can find it out much easier now thanks to the internet, that this whole root story was stolen by Harold Corlander, who wrote the novel The African. So, again, that must be remembered, especially when you hear these uh, pro blacky blacks talk about how the roots made them fail. I mean, not the roots, but how roots made them fail. And when these actors virtue signal about it, especially LeVar Burton, because he's really been a loudmouth recently. It's a stolen work. I mean, that just must be highlighted and remember. Now, as far as the miniseries is concerned, I mean, obviously these these two actors reflect positively on it. And I remember, you know, watching the miniseries for the first time. And overall, you know, despite the beat to death thing in Hollywood with slavery and race play, it is a really good miniseries. I mean, hell, I even watched the remake that they did a few years back on the History Channel. You know, which was pretty decent enough. But, you know, Roots, uh, which aired 45 years ago on ABC, you know, it was clearly agenda back then. So, again, for people who think this sort of thing just started uh, just a couple of years ago, you know, during Trump's presidency or leading up to Trump's presidency, you're sadly mistaken. I mean, this sort of race play and you know, just pushing this narrative by the mainstream has been happening. The only difference now versus then is now it's far more blatant. And back then, it was far you know, more subtle because you had generations of people who were still living at the time that just wouldn't tolerate with being so blatantly insulted and uh, blamed for everything. But, you know, Today's generations are all around cucked out. <laughs> they just take it and accept it. But again, as I stated before, it is actual. It is an actual good series, a mini series. But again, it's based on a stolen work. And like, once you are aware of that, how can you continue on celebrating something like that? You know, unless you just have no shame in engaging in a known fraud, which, again, a lot of pro blackity wax they don't mind engaging in that. You know, they just want their ego stroked and be told that they're kings and queens and descend from X, Y, and Z. When, you know, I don't have that inferiority complex, and that's why I don't choose to engage in that. But, yeah, I mean... It's nice to see these two actors still alive, you know. They've been around for a minute. Um, recently, John Amos was in that horrible, atrocious, despicable <laughs> coming to America too. I mean, there's so much potential with that sequel. Just uh, ridiculous and disappointing. And just dis very disappointed in Alex Haley.
How dare you steal from that poor white man? But anyway, uh, next time when you see people celebrating roots, uh, maybe remind them who the true author is. I'm sure they'll have fun with knowing that fact.